motherfucking thugs coming. Ha, 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 the motherfucking thugs coming. What's going on, Wonder Gang? It's your boy Lee One Day, and we're back with another video. Today, we're going to be reacting on when dumb criminals try to pull guns on cops by catching killers. The link will be in the description if y'all want to go watch the video on your own. Um, or y'all can just type in catching killers on YouTube. Go subscribe to the channel. Go show them love. If y'all like the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Wonder Gang, let's get right into the video. Police have to constantly be vigilant of their surroundings, especially when dealing with suspects who want them dead. Here are cases where criminals went for a gun and paid the price. It's a jar, and it's got a little bit of Get out of here! Starting with the case of 19-year-old Sebastian Roman, who, on May 28, 2022, had been suspected of carrying an open container of alcohol at a local mall and approaching minors. Yo, Atlanta police, stop. Stop. Because they have an open container of alcohol. In public, you can't have an open container of alcohol. Give me your alcohol. Give me your ID. Your ID. I don't have it on me. Where's your ID? I left it at home. How old are you? Oh, Not 21. Yeah. Right. I can have you arrested right now. So you walking around the club with an open container of alcohol talking to little girls. And you just think you're gonna slide and get away with it? Yeah, nah, bro. You're dumb. You're stupid. You're retarded. I should arrest this. How old are you? You're 19? Yes, sir. Right. You're not even 21 and three. Sebastian admits to being underage, and the officer lets him know he can have him arrested. The officer then decides to detain the suspect and proceeds to question him more. What are you doing at the mall? I'm just walking around trying to shop. Have a good time while I'm on the weekend, you know? Yes. Mistake. I understand. No, okay. You're not trying to pick up anybody? No, sir. Okay. I mean, women, yeah. Just having a good time. You think, it's, you think it's appropriate to walk up to a group of young girls and ask their ages right away? I was just trying to verify their age before I, you know, before I... I mean, I looked at them. You don't think they were... They were definitely minors. I didn't intend to... Right. You don't look like a minor. Yeah. You've got a sleeve of tattoos. Yeah. That tells me you're at least above 18. Yeah. It's my mistake. I was trying to verify you their age before I... Yeah, yeah. I understand. I was just trying to verify their age before I... That's how you approach women nowadays? You just go up to them and ask them how old they are? Straight yeah, up? Yeah, so I don't have to... You know, I don't want to be in the wrong there. After the officer confronts the suspect of approaching underage girls, he then removes him from the premises and is willing to let him off with a verbal warning. But after admitting to using marijuana and then refusing to submit to a search, he'll make a foolish decision that forces them both into a terrible situation. Do you have anything on you that would, uh, drugs, guns, bombs, anything like that? No, sir. Okay. I I I so you have some weed on you? No, not anymore. Okay. Do you mind if I conduct a search of your person real quick? I don't think you can. I'm asking. No, no. What do you have inside your bag? Just some stuff that I need to get home. Okay. Do you mind showing me? No, I don't have to. Okay. Thank you, though. Nope. Next time I see you here. Okay. I, I, I see it. It's a jar, and it's got a little bit of weed in it. Okay. You, you think I I'm done? I just dumb? finished it. Okay. Uh, with the... Is that what's through. inside your bag? Yeah. That's it. Just the weed? Yeah. Okay. While the man would be correct in stating he doesn't have to consent to a search, he admits to smoking weed, thus giving the officer enough probable cause to do so. But as frightening as a potential arrest may be to a 19-year-old, what he does next defies all logical explanation. Take off your bag. Don't resist. You're going to make it a lot worse than you need to. Take off your bag. Sir, please. Don't make this worse. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Bruh. 19 year old walking around. This how to be a duck like on WWE. 19 year old. What? Walking around. What? With alcohol. What? But with alcohol. And we, and then you like, yeah, I smoke too. So like, that's going to give him a reason to check anything. Like if you say any of that, he could already check it because you 19 drinking alcohol, but it was being cool about it. Then you 
You, you like, sir, no. And start firing at the top. Signal 43! Signal 43, signal 43, Paul Millennia. White male, white Hispanic male running. He's going towards Millennia Boulevard. He's got a gun. He's just shot at me. The suspect has pulled a gun out of his bag and fired at police before turning to flee on foot. After calling in the shooting, the officer gives chase to the fleeing suspect. Why does it look like he's running so slow? Signal 43. Oscar 356. Small millennia. He's running. He's going towards. He's going towards Millennia Convoy. Hotel Mike. White shirt, blue jeans, he got a black hand, uh, bag, he pulled out black signal zero. He gone. He gone. Oh, in the big parking lot. Get a chase. Get a chase. Bruh. Bro, he jumped, he went through the bushes and did one of them like movie roles. What the heck? But, but, nah, dude, I'm really tired, bro. I'm really tired, bro. Dude, literally hit a, a, a roll, a roly pole. He just crossed Officer Conroy right Roley. now. He's got to be somewhere around here. The officer has lost sight of the suspect, but after scouring the area, that police find him outside crazy. a local Olive Garden restaurant where police say <laughs> But if you thought situations like this couldn't get any worse, then you won't believe this next case. So sorry. What do you got there? What do you got there? Oh. On July 25, 2023, Westminster, Colorado police notice an SUV parked on the wrong side of a busy road. They approach the vehicle only to find 46-year-old Alicia Duran refusing to answer questions. Can you tell me what's going on? Why are you in the wrong lane? <laughs> Can you tell me why you're in the wrong lane? Bob, I don't know what I got here. I got a female that won't answer any questions. I think I'm in our bad. I'm in our turn lane to go into the shops and you want to start one of them. What's going on? Can you tell me what's going on there, please? Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance? Are you all right? Need yeah, some Okay. Have you yet, have you been drinking or anything? It doesn't look like you've been drinking. The officer calls in the report, but Duran angrily refuses an ambulance. And when asked if she's been drinking, have you been drinking or anything? She'll go silent before reaching for a gun in the center console. You got in there. What do you got in there, man? What do you got in there? What do you got in there? Oh, fuck! It was at this point the That's lady pulls a crazy. handgun from her car's center console. The officer is left with no choice but protect himself and the people around him. Two twenty-five shots fired. Shots fired. Don't move. Shots fired. All units code nine channel one. Responding units two twenty-five. Are you okay? Are you are you okay? Start rescue. She's down inside the car still. Got a handgun. I'm checking for other down range here. 225 traffic stopped here for me, but we're gonna need to shut some things down here. I'll just lead Lamar westbound and then eastbound uh, down the way here a little bit. Let's get her out of the car. You get the gun, I'll get her out of the car. Yeah, I'm trying to do okay. all that, man. I, Give me a minute. You grab the gun, I got her. Just get that out of here. I don't think so. Hey, get her out. 191, Sam Robert Tom, 191. The officer sees Duran pull a gun from the center console and raise it in his direction, forcing him to open fire. He then immediately reports the incident and finds her unresponsive. After backup arrives, his concern goes to any potential bystanders hurt in the gunfire. Ma'am, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sam, you get you to pass Lamar for Westbound and turn all the selfies. Oh, God bless I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
After finding a bullet has hit the windshield of another motorist, he apologizes profusely to the driver, and then breaks down from the stress of the situation. This poor cop had no other choice than oh, to do what he did, but this next case shows what happens when officers are forced into life or death situations. Really it's October 26, 2021 in Mount Vernon, Illinois, and Frederick Goss is on trial for armed robbery after allegedly robbing a convenience store and getting into a gunfight with police. But as a corrections officer transports him to a local courthouse, he'll prove just how far he's willing to go to escape justice, despite his wheelchair. Goss was wounded during the shootout and still requires the assistance of the wheelchair. As a standard procedure, the so officer removes the handcuffs the so that the inmate can move himself to the chair, seemingly forgetting that it isn't his hands he has the problem with, which could easily reach for the gun. But just as the officer kindly adjusts the chair's foot rests, Goss decides it's the perfect time to make his move for the gun. He tries to pull the officer's gun from its holster, but is unable to remove it and falls out of his wheelchair in the process. The officer and Goss wrestle on the ground, crashing into the car as they fall. Got the wheelchair, man. Oh, shoot, he got that. He got it. He can't get up. Goss eventually gains control of the gun and struggles to stand before oh, pointing it directly at the officer's face. Off? But a second officer oh. arrives and opens okay. fire on Goss. And not a second too soon. The officer was treated for minor injuries and the inmate survived the potentially fatal shooting. Of all the cases of suspects pulling guns on cops we've seen so far, this next one is one of the darkest cases I've ever seen. So how come they can't? Hey, buddy would have lost his life for if it wasn't for the other cop. And he probably would have got in that car and took off. That's crazy. Find ya. No! 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 Uh -oh. Hi. Good, how are you? What are you doing parked back here? Okay, where are you coming from? How long have you been here? On July 26, 2018, Chicago police come across a man sleeping in his SUV. He explains he was just taking a roadside nap. The officer has to check if he has any active warrants out for his arrest. But it soon becomes oh. obvious his story isn't adding up. Not a big deal. I just have to make sure you know you don't have any warrants or anything, which I'm sure you don't. Once I confirm that, you'll be on your way. No big deal. D-U-N-K-I-N. Martel gives his name as James Duncan, and the officer soon learns why he's hiding on an abandoned road at 5 a.m. and what he's willing to do when cornered. All right. So you said your name was James, right? So how come they can't find you out of Pennsylvania? They're not finding a DL, a driver's license record for James Duncan. Do you have anything in the vehicle with your name on it? Yeah, that's King Henry right. Lincoln 4596. No! 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 If it wasn't for that other cop, she's saying, please don't be begging for her life. 8521, Backup arrives to witness a desperate begging struggle for the gun. Life. As the officer begs for her life, <laughs> they approach and neutralize Martel with a single shot. Martel was found to have been high on <laughs> and wanted in Pennsylvania for the brutal murder of an elderly man just days prior. An officer's workplace is never safe, but this next case shows they can face danger anywhere. In Fairfax County in Virginia, an officer spots a U-Haul truck that's suspected of having stolen plates. But when he detains the driver at a gas station, he'll have no idea just how much danger he's actually in. Hey, sir. Can I get oh, oh. You driving a U-Haul? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, can you talk to me real quick over here? Of course. All right, we're going to go right over here, man. 
What did I do? What? I said, what did I do? Alright, it's right here. Alright? Right here, being detained, okay? So this report, For what? This report is stolen. Why? Right. Since it's, when? You're not in a restaurant, you're just being detained, okay? What's report is stolen? Alright. Shoot Tom Bravo, hold the channel, send me a unit to Sicko up here by North Walmart. What the fuck? Sure, you're oh, good. Get off my gun. Sure, get off my gun. Sure, get off my gun. Sure, you're not going to jail right now, right? Get off my gun. Nah, you're going to jail. I'm not going to jail. Nah, it's too take it off my gun. I mean, it's too late to take it. We're not going to get it. We got to get it. I'm telling you guys, we're going to call this a signal line. No response. Look. Get off my gun! 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 Please let, please just get back. Get off my gun! As they struggle for the gun, the suspect puts the vehicle in reverse and leads officers on a short chase, before it ends in a hail of bullets at a nearby McDonald's. The officer was treated for minor injuries and the suspect, later identified as 38-year-old Brandon LeMang, died on the scene. Trying to get a cop's gun is never a good idea, and as this next case will show, neither is wrestling a cop to the ground. In Willoughby, Ohio, police stopped 64-year-old David Kaubeck on suspicion of speeding and asked for his license. Like well but instead of simply handing it over and cooperating, he has to make things difficult by exiting the vehicle. Hello. I'm not sure I will be placed on it. This is why I'm stopping you to speed. 57 and a 35. You're going 57 and a 35, sir. You have a driver's license for the why are you getting out of the car, sir? My driver's license. 12 radio, this meal just stepped out of the vehicle. Step over here now. Have a seat on the ground. Have a seat. I'm not sick. I'm not sick! Back up! Back up! I'm not sick! Cole, put your hands behind your back. I'm not Haze you, sir. Touch the vehicle. Put your hands on the vehicle now! Oh, uh, she thought she was going to bully for Paul. But it ain't worried. No! Come on. Radio, send me unit. Now! Hey, that's a good thing somebody came to so overcome another person. Knock it off, man! Knock it off now! Get your arm behind you! Put your arm behind your back! Put your arm behind your back! Get your cops! Get your cops! That's a five Shut up! You don't do that to a woman! Do you understand me? Or not, you don't do that to a woman. Just as Kaubeck is gaining the upper hand, good Samaritans tackle and pin him to the ground as backup arrives. The officer was treated for minor injuries and Kaubeck was charged with assault, resisting arrest, speeding, and not wearing a seatbelt. While most suspects become defined for a reason, like in our next case, some simply have no reason at all. In June of 2016, Cincinnati, Ohio police arrest 27-year-old Thomas Robinson for allegedly gunning down a young man and wounding another. But when he realizes the cops have him dead to rights, he'll only see one way out of his situation.
As Robinson sits in an interrogation room, an officer moves behind him to remove his cuffs. But Robinson's eyes move toward the gun, and it's not long before he makes his move. As they wrestle for control of the gun, more officers enter and deploy tasers on Robinson, who then pleads for officers to kill him. While this incident ended without anyone losing their lives, videos like these are used as training material for young cadets and experienced officers alike in order to prevent future tragedies from occurring. But as shocking as these criminals were, wait until you see these entitled kids who think they're- Hey man, that video was crazy, y'all. That was crazy. He said, kill me, kill me. Oh, and it just shows like, man, Hey, it's really not safe, bro. Y'all gotta keep yourself protected. And y'all just gotta like, y'all gotta make sure y'all keep yourself protected. If you have a car, make sure your car is always up to date. And bro, just stay out the way. Just stay out the way. That's all you have to do is just stay out the way. And you'll be good, man. All I gotta say is y'all be safe, man. Y'all like the video? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And make sure y'all go subscribe to Crimp. Oh, I'm sorry. Catching Killers, my fault. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Catching Killers, and we out. Peace.